the judiciary is going to be the last stand for the people of Kenya. You have seen the difference with which we have been treated at the gate of the courts and at the gates of the police, which tells you that whenever everything else fails, it is only the courts that can provide refuge to us. Yet if any judge has committed any corruption anywhere in this country, he should avail that evidence to the necessary uh, investigative authorities, let him show the evidence, let these judges be disciplined in accordance with the law. But for you to continue maligning good judges, there are people sitting in the courts even here in Kisi, listening to cases they are dedicated judicial officers. What do you think it does to their psyche every day when they are being accused of things that they have not done? Which investor will come to invest in a country which he knows? The own president of that country is saying that our courts are corrupt, that he will not respect court orders. Judiciary is an independent arm of the government and it should be respected. The president, our own president, William Samoy Ruto, should respect the rule of law, should respect the judiciary, and should respect the independent arms of the government. Failure to do so, we will live in a country where there is anarchy. Article 4, Article 3, and even Article 1 of the Constitution is very clear and Article 10, that the president is supposed to follow the law, to, to rule this country by the rule of law and nothing else. So we demand that he stops what he's doing, make sure that the judiciary is independent as we go on.